SeaWorld is celebrating its 50th anniversary here at the New York Stock Exchange. The company did release its fiscal year uh, preliminary results for 2013, $1.46 billion. That is a record. The company has also said that it reaffirmed its guidance between $432 million to $444 million, and also the attendance for the SeaWorld branded parks is at a record for October through December. However, of course, the one thing that everybody wants to ask the CEO is about Blackfish, and I've got to ask you, you know, clearly this has been a negative. It has been weighing on you, but do you, do you feel like it's a little bit too much attention has been focused on this? Well, let me say a couple things. Is that one, we're, uh, you know, we have great exception with the film. We don't agree with the premise of the film, how it was constructed, and it's really a bit of animal rights propaganda. Um, so there, there's not a thing that we, uh, we agree with about it. Having said that, I think uh, our results speak for themselves. The year that we've had, uh, the performance that we've driven, and the, the tremendous outpouring of support we have from the people visiting our parks and our fans uh, that we have had for 50 years as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the brand really speaks for itself. Well, that was, of course, the one thing that Wall Street was going to be concerned about was, was attendance going to go down? And so it looks like from the first get look at these numbers, it hasn't affected it so much. Well, you know, I get asked that question a lot, as you might imagine. And if you kind of look at our quarterly reporting uh, uh, throughout the year, you can see that from the, the second quarter of the year to the third to the fourth, our attendance continued to improve. And ironically, that coincides with the film's more uh, prominence being a theatrical release in the summer and then on CNN, who owns the film, by the way, uh, release in the fall. So ironically, the more national attention it's gotten, actually our attendance has improved. I'm um, not necessarily linking those two, but that's how the arithmetic works. And of course, we have the Academy Award nomination. Some are saying it's on the short list that it could get nominated. That's just going to bring it back again in the headlines for you. Well, you know, I, I'll defer to the, to the voters in the Academy who, who kind of do that work. At the end of the day, we're focused on the work we do every day of providing enriching quality experiences that connect guests with nature and animals in a way that no one else can do. And we've been doing it for 50 years, and, and we'll stay focused on that. You know, we talked a little bit about the great performance we had for 2013. Uh, one of the other stats that's a new record for us is we rescued our 23,000, uh, I'm sorry, 23,000 animals uh, uh, in, since the existence of our company. So that, that was a new record we established through 2013. So, you know, we do good work, great conservation, education, research, and science, and, and we'll let those results speak for themselves. If the press just continues to be negative and you just continue to have this, um, this ground uh, swell of people wanting to have you release Tilikum, would you release Tilikum? We would never consider it. And there's one very simple reason. It would be inhumane to uh, even consider something like that. This is Why? Uh, well, this is an animal that has, um, is, with a, is living with his own kind and is in a team environment where he's uh, well cared for, gets food. You know, realize there's been efforts to release animals before that have failed miserably. And, and one is, is back to Keiko, the whale from Free Willy, who uh, there was an effort to try to release him. He died a miserable, lonely existence in the wild. These animals are social animals. And Tillicum's team, his group that he's bonded with, is, is the, the other animals at the park and the trainers with whom he works. Because in the movie, they show him as he's in a separate tank by himself. No, no, he, that is not the case. Tillicum, like all the animals in, in our care and our facilities, has access to the whole facility. And really, uh, it, it's one cohesive team between the animals there and the trainers who do the amazing work with them. Now, there has been a lot of pressure on your sponsors to break away. Southwest Air says they're not breaking away. They're sticking with you guys. No, and I think, uh, unfortunately, it's, I think it's quite unfair to be targeting our sponsors. Um, but uh, nevertheless, I'll, uh, you know, there, that, there has been efforts in that realm. Um, look, we're proud of our relationships we have with, with uh, Southwest and other sponsors, and they know the, they don't arrive into these relationships and these sponsorships uh, without a great bit of due diligence and work and questions of their own. We've met with, we met with all of them, we've spoken with these sponsors, and you know, we're proud to be affiliated with them. And of course, you have a great many other animals, not just orcas and not just penguins, right? That's right, that's right. No, we have thousands of animals in our care. We have, uh, have one of the most complex and largest zoological collections in the world. And, you know, if through that collection we're able to introduce people with nature and, the, and wildlife in a way that inspires and educates them for that, um, we're proud to have done that. All right. Well, there you have it. SeaWorld is celebrating their 50th anniversary here at the Stock Exchange. Stock has been down a little bit since its IPO, but it does look like it is starting to crawl its way back, or shall I say swim its way back to the top. That is Jim Atchison, CEO of SeaWorld, and I'm Deborah Borchart with The Street.